Let's make one more palette. This is shifting hue and saturation, so we could shift them both at the same time. So I'm going to go back to our color worksheet. Um, I like the color we have selected at the moment, but what I want to do is change my setting. So I'm not at normal. What I want to do is I want to go change the setting to that of color. Now the color mode is the equivalent of both saturation and hue. So let's choose that of, uh, you know, I had the wrong layer selected. I made a big goof. Let's go set that back to normal. Go back to the color chip. It pays attention to know what you're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and choose color. Oh, I'm blushing. Okay, so I got color selected. And it's a mixture of both saturation and that of hue. So if I double click on the color chip, I could change its saturation level by clicking around. So if I go to the right, the more to the right, the more intense, see how the saturation picks up? And then I also have the ability to change its hue. So I could have a desaturated green. And, uh, you know, that could be kind of pleasing and nice. Or that's a bluish green. It's kind of cool. I might like that color set. And I might lower that the relationship a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And uh, we could go for like a purple or a red or blue. And it's not changing value at all. The reds are kind of beautiful. Look at that. Very interesting. I, I like that, but maybe I want the relationship to be tighter, so I might increase the opacity. There we go. And let's go ahead and make kind of a reddish palette. And again, our values are, well, still there. So uh, I'm going to make sure I click on the color field. Enough of embarrassments. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to plant my palette right down here. So I'm going to just grab it. I held the option key to click into the other window while I had the paintbrush. I'm just going to grab some of the dark ones. Get, group all the dark ones together, maybe. Um, here's like a neutral dark. Uh, here's a purple. I turned purple on me. Here's a reddish value. Um, get that little hole picked up. Here's kind of a lighter value. But they're all kind of interesting. Even this kind of well, grayed out greenish one, it didn't go all the way red. So uh, there's a brownish value. But again, I'm getting some great color relationships. This green is kind of its complement. It didn't uh, go completely too red. There's a purple. There we go. And uh, got a little brown here. The brown goes nicely with this dark red and this blue. It really ties these three colors together well. So I think I got myself a great set of colors. Awesome set of colors. And uh, I'm happy. So this built myself a little palette of colors that are all based around shifting the hue and the saturation. To recap it, the way I got the colors is my color chip was set to color mode, which is a combination of hue and saturation. And I just left it in this case at 84%, but you will choose how strong or how weak your relationships will be.